हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ माइंड मैप टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज पेनसुलर रिवर्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द फीचर्स ऑफ पेनसुलर रिवर्स हिमालयन रिवर्स एंड पेनसुलर रिवर कंपेरिजन वेस्ट फ्लोइंग पेनसुलर रिवर्स स्मॉल रिवर्स फ्लोइंग टूवर्ड्स वेस्ट ईस्ट फ्लोइंग पेनसुलर रिवर्स स्मॉल रिवर्स फ्लोइंग टूवर्ड्स ईस्ट एंड वेस्ट फ्लोइंग रिवर एंड ईस्ट फ्लोइंग रिवर्स कंपेरिजन First of all moving on to features of peninsular plateau the peninsular rivers mostly have concordant drainage they are non perennial rivers they are not fed by any permanent water source like glaciers thus their maximum discharge in the rainy season peninsular rivers have reached mature stage of development vertical down cutting is negligible and rivers have broad and shallow valleys The river banks generally have gentle slopes except for areas with faulting. The velocity of water in the rivers and the load carrying capacity of the streams is low due to low gradient. Due to eastward tilt of peninsular plateau most of the rivers drains into Bay of Bengal and the main divide between west and east flowing peninsular rivers are western ghats. Now let's discuss about Himalayan rivers and peninsular rivers comparison. Former have larger drainage and catchment areas than later. Former flows in V-shaped valleys while later have shallow valleys. Former have antecedent drainage while later have consequent drainage. Former is perennial while later is non-perennial. Stages of river development can be seen in former while later shows mature stage. Now moving on to west flowing peninsular rivers. First is Narmada. India's fifth longest river and the country's longest west flowing river origin Maikala range near Amarkantak plateau flow westwards through a rift valley between the Vindhyan range on the north and the Satpura range on the south empties into gulf of Cambay forming an estuary basin Madhya Pradesh Gujarat Maharashtra and Chhattisgarh tributaries Tawa largest tributary and Hiran waterfalls dhandhar and sahastradhara falls projects indira sagar sardar sarovar omkareshwar bargi and maheshwar are the basins largest hydropower project tapi second largest west flowing river of the peninsular india origin multai reserve forest in madhya pradesh it empties into gulf of kambe that is gulf of khambat basin madhya pradesh maharashtra and gujarat There are two well defined physical regions in the basin hilly region and plains the plain covers the khandesh areas tributaries gomai arunavati and amravati projects on tapi river are kakra par and okai dam maharashtra girna dam maharashtra now moving on to small rivers flowing towards west sabarmati river origin aravalli hills in udaipur rajasthan it drains into gulf of khambat Basin Rajasthan and Gujarat tributaries Vakal the Hatmati and the Vatrak and projects Dharoi Dam and Hatmati Reservoir Mahi River origin western vindhya ranges dhar district mp it flows into arabian sea via gulf of khambat it crosses tropic of cancer twice basin madhya pradesh rajasthan and gujarat tributaries som anas and panam important dams banswara dam Kadana Dam, Vanagbori Dam, Luni River, origin Aravalli Ranges. It flows into run of Kutch and disappears into marshes. Now let's discuss about east flowing peninsular rivers. First is Mahanadi, origin northern foothills of Danda Karnia in Sihwana town of Chhattisgarh. The total length of the river from origin to its outfall into the Bay of Bengal is eight fifty one kilometer. The combined delta of the Mahanadi's numerous distributaries and the Brahmani is one of the largest in India. Tributaries of Mahanadi: right bank tributaries the Ong, the Tel, and the Jhong; left bank tributaries Seonath, longest tributary; Hasdev, largest tributary, and flows through Hasdev Aranya forest. Ib joins Mahanadi River, flowing directly into the Hirakud Reservoir. Mand. Godavari Godavari is the largest river of India after Ganga it drains third largest basin in India covering about 10% of India's total geographical area 
ड्रेनेज बेसिन महाराष्ट्र आंध्र प्रदेश तेलंगाना छत्तीसगढ़ एंड ओडिशा ड्यू टू इट्स लेंथ कैचमेंट एरिया एंड डिस्चार्ज द गोदावरी इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज दक्षिण गंगा ओरिजिन इन वेस्टर्न घाट्स फ्रॉम त्रिम्बकेश्वरा इन नासिक महाराष्ट्र टोटल लेंथ ऑफ गोदावरी फ्रॉम इट्स ओरिजिन टू आउटफॉल इज वन किलोमीटर Godavari on reaching near the coast splits into two large branches which are called Gautami Gautami Godavari and Vashishta Godavari Branches of Godavari joins Bay of Bengal at different places forming a delta of length along the coast of the Bay of Bengal and is called the Kona Seema region This delta along with the delta of the Krishna river is called the rice granary of South India Tributaries of Godavari right bank tributaries of Godavari Pravara It is the only tributary of Godavari which originate from Western Ghats. Manjira River. It originate in Balaghat range. Singo Dam is situated on Manjira River. Others are Mula, Pedavagu. Left bank tributaries of Godavari: Pain Ganga, origin Ajanta Range, major tributary of the Vardha River and flows along the state border between Maharashtra and Telangana. Vardha, origin Satpura Range and flows into Van Ganga. Van Ganga originate in Mahadev Hills. Pranhita River, largest tributary of Godavari River, drains a large part of Vidarbha region in Maharashtra. Kaleshwaram Lift Irrigation Project is proposed project on Pranhita River. Sabari River, it is also known as Kolab River in Odisha. Upper Kolab project is located on Sabari River in Odisha. Sileru River, Machkund Major tributary of Sabari joins Sabari River at Tri Junction boundary point of Andhra Pradesh, Chhattisgarh and Odisha. Indravati it is also known as the lifeline of Kalahandi and Bastar district of Chhattisgarh. Important projects Kutrunugru and Bhopal Patnam. Others are Dharna Penj Kanhan. Krishna River third longest river of India, fourth largest river in terms of water inflows and river basin area. Basin Andhra Pradesh Maharashtra and Karnataka origin in Mahabaleshwar Western Ghats total length of river is 1400 km the krishna forms a large delta with a shoreline of about 120 km the krishna delta appears to merge with that formed by the godavari and extends about 35 km into the sea tributaries of krishna right bank tributaries of krishna Ghat Prabha, Damal Prabha, and Tunga Bhadra. Tunga Bhadra formed by the confluence of two rivers, the Tunga and the Bhadra. Origin Western Ghats, Kudremuk Hill Ranges. Largest tributary of the river Krishna. Hampi site and Virupaksha temple is located on the banks of river Tunga Bhadra. Tributaries are Bhadra, Vedavati, and Hindri. Left bank tributaries of Krishna. Bhima, longest tributary of Krishna. Musi. Hyderabad is situated on the bank of river Musi. Osman Sagar and Himayat Sagar are artificial lakes on this river. Other Muneru, Kaveri, largest river of Tamil Nadu and divides state into north and south. Origin Western Ghats, Brahmagiri Hills, Karnataka. It flows through the states of Karnataka and Tamil Nadu and descends into the eastern Ghats. It enters the sea at Pumpuhar. Basin Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Kerala and Union Territory of Puducherry draining an area of 81000 square kilometer. Tributaries of Kaveri, left bank tributaries of Kaveri are Harangi, the Hemavati, the Shimsha and the Arkavati. Right bank tributaries of Kaveri are Lakshmantirth, the Kabbani, the Suvarnavati, the Bhavani, the Noil and the Amravati. Distributaries of Kaveri are Koli Dam, Vennar and Arasala River. Now let's discuss about small east flowing rivers. Subarn Rekha River, origin Ranchi Plateau, flows by the state of Jharkhand, Odisha and small area of West Bengal. One of the longest east flowing interstate rivers, Hundru Falls is situated on Subarn Rekha. Brahmani River, seasonal river in the state of Odisha, formed by the confluence of the Koyal and the Sankh rivers near Raurkela. Along with Betarni, it forms a huge delta. Pennar River, origin Nandi Hills in Karnataka district and basin Andhra Pradesh and Karnataka. Vagai River, origin eastern slopes of the 
Varushanad Hills area drained by Vagai is only situated in Tamil Nadu. River empties into Park Bay close to Pamban Bridge. Important tributaries are Suruliar and the Manjalar. Now lastly, let's discuss about west flowing rivers and east flowing rivers comparison. Due to the easterly tilt of peninsular plateau, west flowing rivers are less in number than east flowing rivers. Due to presence of harder rocks, many west flowing rivers like Tapi and Narmada flows through rift valley, while east flowing rivers forms shallow valleys. West flowing rivers form estuaries, while east flowing rivers form delta. Tributaries of these west flowing rivers are very small in length as compared to east flowing rivers. Now moving on to practice questions. First of all, prelims question. Consider the following statements. One, most of the peninsular rivers have concordant drainage. Two, reliability of Himalayan system is more on rainfall compared to peninsular rivers. Three, due to non-perennial nature, peninsular rivers are more prone to flooding than Himalayan rivers during monsoon. Which of the following statements is or are correct? One only, two only, one and two only or two and three only. You can send the answer of this question in the comment section. And now moving on to the main question. There is more formation of deltas on eastern coast of India, while estuaries are prominent on western coast of India. Why? So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.